Hello FX Saber fans, I'm doing this video today to present Soleia, my latest custom saber. It's an MHS based saber, so the hilt is all MHS parts except for this one, which was custom made for me by Darren at JQ Sabers. It's approximately 11.7 inches long. The powder coating here and the media blasting were done by Tim at the custom saber shop and I've painted the gold accents myself. This Sabre features a crystal focus board version 5.10 from Plector Labs, uh, which is powered by a 1400 mAh lithium ion battery pack, has a 2 watt speaker in hilt recharge for the 2.1 mm recharge port, and a triple force blue blue white LED from Sabre Project with the two blues wired in series for the main blade and the white flash on clash. The sandboard is operated using these two momentary switches. Uh, when I was designing this Sabre I gave a lot of thought about the placement of the switches. Uh, I wanted the switches to be very easily accessible with a one-handed grip and at the same time I didn't want to run the risk of accidentally hitting them when wielding the saber. So I came up with this solution. I had Tim machine this recessed flat area for the switches and I'm really happy how it came out. It's very comfortable to use and there's really no way to hit those switches accidentally. So really happy with it. For this particular saber, I made a custom rubber grip in the middle of the hilt, which has two functions. Um, first, uh, well, obviously to have a, a better grip on the hilt while swinging and spinning the saber. And secondly, uh, the grip is held in place by this socket head screw in the back and when I remove it a small section of the grip comes off so by twisting the grip you can gain access to the crystal chamber the crystal chamber is holding a real aqua aura quartz crystal which is backlit by a 5mm blue LED. So let me pull the kill key. By the way, this is a brass kill key from Force Relics. Okay, that was the boot sound. So now the saber is in idle mode. The red indicator is blinking. And you can see the crystal is pulsing. Uh, I set the LED to the special accent mode, crystal pulse, to get this effect. So, when I fire up the saber, the two LEDs here are blinking in sequence, red and green. And I don't know if you can see it, but there are also three accent LEDs in the crystal chamber there. Three white, three millimeter LEDs which are blinking in a scrolling effect. The saber is very loud. Um, it has some nice resonance, especially when you close off the crystal chamber part. You can really feel those bases. I don't know if you can hear the difference. So let me pop in a blade real quick so I can show you the flash on clash. I'm also gonna get the lights so I can show it properly. This LED, it has a very nice, rich blue color and it is very bright. The blade is even, very even, from base to the tip. And 
hopefully I can show you. You can see it has a white flash on clash, which is very bright, very dramatic. very very bright in fact I'm gonna show you my next to my other custom saber which is a green one but just to give you an idea of the brightness it's very very bright they're about the same brightness maybe this one a touch brighter Take out this blade. Uh, yeah, I forgot to mention the cover tech knob here on the back to so I can clip it on the belt clip. And one more thing, when you want to access DSD cards to change fonts or change any configuration, whatever, just need to unscrew the back part of the saber. So you can see my custom plastic chassis. Here is the battery pack, the stick pack. And the crystal focus is very securely strapped in the back, the two watt speaker. And all I have to do to, to access the SD card is to unstrap the board, pull out the card, load whatever I want on it, strap it back in, and then close it up. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you. I hope you like the saber and I hope you enjoy this saber. Uh, so I'll see you on the forums.